Hey, hello friends. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll let you know about the internet and manual control home automation system using Blink IoT platform. You can control your home appliances over internet from your phone as well as know the status of your appliances in on and off condition. That is, you will be able to know the real time status of your appliances and also control it. Internet controlled home automation along with manual control as well as real time feedback of the switches. You can control the appliances with internet and also with your regular manual switches. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, a PCB manufacturing company with low prices of only $2 for 5 PCBs and more. JLCPCB.com invites you to take part in the online e-exhibition for virtual communication with all JLC PCB users and 100% chance of winning gifts such as smartphones, 3D printers, cameras, gift cards and coupons. Anyone attending the show could win up to 4 prizes. So register before the exhibition starts. Check description for more information. JLC PCB wishes you good luck. For this project, we need ESP32, high link AC to DC converter, volt relay, BC547 NPN transistor, IN54007 diode, 10 kilo and 1 kilo ohm resistor, two terminal connectors, female header, custom designed PCB. Ordering PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Just upload your gerber file. JLC PCB automatically recognizes all the features of the PCB. Choose the PCB color and other extra features. And after that, click on save to cut and complete your order. After a few days, here are the PCB boards in the new blue box of JLC PCB. Now, solder the components on the PCB. After soldering the components, the PCB looks like this, neat and clean. Open Blink app. Click on New Project. Give it any name. I am giving it home automation. Select board ESP32 development board and connection type is Wi-Fi. Click OK. Now an authentication token will be sent to your email ID which we will require at the time of coding. After that click here and add button. Likewise add three more buttons. After that step on button for configuration. Give it a name like relay one. After that, select the pin as virtual. Select virtual pin V1. Change it 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 for reverse logic. Select mode as switch, that's it. Likewise, configure all the buttons. Download this code from the description and open it in the Arduino IDE. After that, in this section you have to provide SSID and password of your router for our hotspot. Here you have to enter your authentication token which must be sent to your email ID. Just copy and paste it in the code. Now everything is ok. Hit the upload button and after selecting the right board and comport. port. 